those managers will be glad to give you that stuff if oh, you yeah. ask. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So the plan is for the extravaganza is to get brochures and and how they set up their vendor space and bring it back here so we can come up with our idea because in the summer they have another one. Great. So we can make our own booth yeah. and, and mm -hmm. promote this place. Yeah. Yeah. We really have to market that pl this place because we're only 20, 30 minutes away. Where's that, that place at you? Uh, it's going to be at the Henry B. Convention Center. Oh. So the idea was that we could say, okay, we're not going to be a vendor display, but we're going to go around to everybody else, how they do their wedding, whatever their prices are, whatever yeah. information you want to give, even how their brochures look. Bring it back here mm -hmm. and then let you all decide because you all do have a budget for marketing. We don't know what we want to market or how. Of course, electronic right. is all done, but once you do it in a brochure, then you just take the brochure and put it on Facebook yeah. or you put it on, you know. But we need to decide if we want a brochure, a book, or a mailer, or whatever we want to tell people. It even will help, you know, when you are describing something because they're going to describe, you know, their room. Um, back in the day when we were doing something, I had an outdoor amphitheater. So I went around and took all their little brochures and came up with this thing and said, oh yes, you can be sitting in the, you know, watching music on the grassy knolls. So I didn't write that up. I just took from here and there and, you know, oh yeah. We like the terms. This so is also a spacious uh, something. I've been talking you know, about art yeah. You know, like, yeah. they yeah. talk they, uh, talk, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds so good. With okay. us and our so events. We get to describe it. Even like, maybe making a commercial if we want to do a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if we can find that? other <laughs> businesses that want to do a commercial with them, they'll give us a discount on our prices for our events to, to put us on the radio and for our events. So the, the nice thing about it is that we have a budget to do it, not just a, we have to do it ourselves. The council gave us a gave you all a budget to do it. So when you come back and you all decide what you want to do, you can go to print and go this. You can hire somebody, but they only gave forty five. It's forty five thousand dollars. No, no. If I if I hire somebody, they eat up the whole marketing budget. I think it was twenty four. Twenty four. Whose idea was that? Whose idea was that to have different sizes? So it's twenty five. So if we go and hire somebody, they don't eat up the whole twenty five. Yeah, I mean, we, we, got those yeah. we just need to, we just need to promote it. We need to throw it out there so and people new, don't just think that there's a three twenty three hundred dollar room. That's it. Yeah, and with our yep. new, uh, with our new uh, website that's coming in too as well, it'll be better promoted because it'll go straight to the page where they can register online and actually see the dimensions and everything they need on there. I was telling Chez that the idea of splitting different sizes is big bottles to different no, sizes, no, different no, options, no, different no, prices, no, an excellent no, idea. I think that was the intention. And that's what we did with the ballroom, yeah. split it up into yeah. smaller yeah. sizes. But right now, we're living okay. with, I mean, we'll have more ball, more office uh, spaces and more meeting rooms yeah. after the city gets back into the city hall. We'll have a little bit more room. And I'm trying to get in there by mid-March. I want to go home. I need everybody. I need all my chickens under one roof. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm living four or five places. So uh, we're hoping that mid-March we'll be back in City Hall and open up and then we won't be having our nightly meetings, our meetings here and schedule things. That'll open up at least two, two offices or two meeting rooms. Definitely. Or, or Chaz, when we see that uh, we have so many events booked and our budget is X amount of dollars. Are we getting together and saying, hey, we need to do something in the month of March? We need to do something in April to, to bring the extra revenue in? Uh, I think Are we Chad, being, you know, aggressive and, well, and pushing? The, I don't know about aggressive, but we definitely or proactive at least. Okay, I like that. <laughs> is that better? <laughs> um, Chaz is in charge to represent the four A at the council meeting coming up in January. Uh, at the last meeting, I kept the calendar that, your, that uh, Chad presented. You all did not want to do the Valentine's party, but we were looking at, because there's not enough time for us to plan it. But we maybe want to do something for March. Uh, uh, I think we mentioned, um, everybody knows I'm from the Chicago area. Cinco de Mayo is the stuff where I come from. Then we can do something like that. I know that's the. Uh, but we do, we do have those regular budget meetings to say that we're, we're uh, missing some dates here, we're missing some revenues, and, we and have we're not going to hit our target. We will have that quarterly time because we just finished our first quarter. Usually, this is a slow time because once they have the Valentine's Day and once they have the New Year's party, it's kind of slow. And like we talked about in the spring, there's an opportunity to have just you know, Thursday, something outside. Yeah. But we're, we're the trying fillings. to give enough yeah, time the the to, to fill up the spray. So, uh, we're looking at uh, a March event, an Easter event. Uh, of course, Fourth of July is our big thing in the summer, and whatever it comes right back around to December when you all said that you want to look at doing this job again. And so, 
Chad, did you have any uh, I do. or anything about this to that? I have some three events that I put together uh, budget-wise that I think and it's, it's, it's the St. Patrick's Day or it's the March one, the May one, and, the, and then the, of course the Freedom Fest, the big one. As I put some numbers together, I, I make some phone calls uh, and just put a budget together okay. for ourselves. We're going to move on to item C. This is, that's item C. Yeah. This is okay. under item no C. No action on item D, right? Is there anything? Uh, I have a question before we go on. Okay. Um, this $600 for Church of Christ, what is that for? They come in for an hour on Wednesdays and an hour on Sundays. They use room 137 and they have church in there. Oh, okay. It's a small church with about 10 people. So they come in for an hour on Wednesday nights to do Bible study and then Sunday mornings to do. And this is $600 for? They had $600 for the two months because they pay 300 for the month. For the month. Yes. Okay. So every month they're paying 300 right. Go ahead. So I put three events together because uh, the dates well, from before, February. Before you start, um, Mr. Tejada raised a question if we need to take any action on B. I don't, did y'all discuss anything that requires action for sub B? I just I didn't want the... Nothing, it was just reports, right? It was just yes, sir. Reports. Mostly reports, and, and uh, this month, this next agenda item is going to be where you might, you guys are going to have to take some action. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, then if there's no further items under B, let's move to item C, and that opens up the, the door a little bit wider here for discussion. Uh, brief by city uh, facility events manager and possible action on the board about uh, certain possible events in March and May that the board may wish to endorse or support and also about modifications to the scheduling of the 4th of July event. Go. Okay, so I put three events together for these next six months. Uh, in February, our dates are pretty much booked from February all the way to uh, May. We have proms, we have a lot of quinces and weddings, Correct. so the dates in between that we can fill, that's what I did here until uh, the 4th of July in the summer. Uh, so I gave three dates, three events that we, three pretty big events that we could have, potentially, you know, actually bring some money into the building and bring people out here. And I know I talked to uh, some of y'all said, you know, like if we do even a small event, it's a marketing event for us to market for these next events to come for the 4th of July. Uh, to bring people out to the event center, just like we want to do for the Thursday nights uh, or the, even the Sunday on the patios, have people on, out here. So I know we had uh, Mayfest last year. Uh, I went through the budget last year, how much we spent. I was uh, to bring more people out here. Of course, I mean I, we got to spend a little more to bring more people out here as well. Uh, even on the Freedom Fest, we're going to cut down a lot of prices because uh, we're doing it during the during the, the weekday. So we had it set for July 4th. That was set for July 4th, but we could not get the fireworks. They had no technicians for fireworks. So I told them the third, to hold them for the third, and they said they could do it. So I was bringing it back to the board. If you are gonna agree on that date, and we can move forward from there so they can send me an invoice and put a deposit on that. What day is that for? That's a Tuesday. So <clears throat> the event would be on a Tuesday then? Yes. But everybody works that day, right? Yeah, that'd be kind of hard for people to come Yeah, it's four <coughs> off. Yeah. So the only way we would do it is cut hours and do it from like 4 to 10, 4 to 11, 4 to 12. And the 4th would fall on a Wednesday shift? Yes. Well, good thing they don't have to work the next day. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's one of the things we ran into it was that if you put it on a weekend, it's not really the 4th of July, but if you put it on a weekend, you, you can set it where people don't have to go to work the next day and they're not working that day. I think the, uh, the problem with the fourth is that it's concentrated where every you know everybody's on the fourth. They want their program on the fourth, mm -hmm. and it's impossible. It, you know, for a <coughs> excuse me, a smaller market like us, uh, it's more difficult for us to come up with a. Um, a fireworks vendor that can do it all. Now, Mr. Gleason's idea uh, was that, just like peanut festival, you could do the Saturday before the 4th, so you always have that Saturday. The problem is the Saturday before the 4th actually falls this year on June 30th. So your advertising come out for your folks like fireworks. So we wouldn't call it July 4th if it's going to be on a regular... We're just calling it Freedom Fest. Yeah. 
pre-July 4th. Pre-July 4th. <laughs> so you can come out to a pre-July 4th Freedom Fest on the 30th, and then we can then we can schedule because the. the but we would have to I keep called, it consistent, though. Yeah, I called yeah. a couple of other companies to see, and they're like, for the July less than, <coughs> less than twenty, less than fifteen thousand dollars. Y'all have a nice day because it's not a lot of money. We no, and the board. previous board voted to have it on on the fourth. Uh, it does cause some problems because, it, it, like I say, it concentrates it down that one day, and you don't know where that day is going to fall. If you set it like we set the Peanut Festival, where it's the second week in October. Uh, or uh, you know, or like that. I mean, we would say it the, the first weekend in, in July, uh, wherever that fell, it would just be called a Freedom Fest. It would be for the Fourth of July and represent the Fourth of July, but it would be called Freedom Fest, and that way we would have it on the weekend each year. So, would you want to do it just Saturday so before or just Saturday after? after? after. So, what you're saying, Bill, have a Freedom Fest, but not. But we're talking about Fourth of July. Right? It's Fourth of it, it would be a Fourth of July festival, but it would be on the weekend. Always. But you, but you're like right. Seven? Have a different name to it rather than Fourth of July. Right. Yeah. Well, it would it wouldn't be Fourth of July. But Freedom it's not the date. Yeah, it'd just be the Freedom Fest. Yeah, yeah. Freedom Fest. Freedom Fest. On the thirtieth. I don't have a calendar for it, but it'd be like the thirtieth. Right. It'll be July The thirtieth or the seventh. The thirtieth, so we can before the fourth, and the seventh is the weekend after. But can we get firecrackers on the seventh? Oh yeah. You can get. You can get all the You can get all the <laughs> half price. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. might get a better <laughs> price. <laughs> we just fizzle a little bit. Yeah. Whatever we need to buy. Yeah. 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 Got a bunch yeah. of cheese pizza now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm looking at the future. I'm looking to carry this thing on down the line. Yes. If everybody knows that it's going to be on a certain weekend, then they can plan yeah, that talking. weekend. Like yeah. we plan for yeah. months for the second weekend in October, and everybody knows that. Peter Fest is going to be the second week. <coughs> and if we, everybody knew that the Freedom Fest was going to be the weekend after the 4th of July, uh, we might not hit it every week, but we, you're going to hit some Thursdays and Fridays and uh, some days in there that might, you know, be pretty close. But we don't have to say it's necessarily the 4th of July. Well, you wouldn't. You'd be a week off. What do you think? Would they be more excited with the pre-festival versus the post-festival? I think July. I, <laughs> I would but say I, it's a seven. questionable. <laughs> I mean, because eventually it's going to land on the fourth. One of the years it's going to eventually. One year it's going to. 2020. Yeah, 2020. Yeah, 2020. Yeah, work with that one. On a Saturday. If it's pre. If it's 2020. It's two years. Did you have it? If it's pre. Would you have the thing to say? Or post. Or post. Before a festival. Or post. 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 I mean, the yeah, first week of uh, so July, July, July yeah. Yeah, it's going to land on it. But you have to be consistent every year. Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure. We would have to have So, yeah, it's 2020. It would not land on the second week. I mean, like Tom was mentioning, it would, not, it no. would never land on the second week. But it will land on the first week of the end of July. If we want to say we're just going to have it every year on the first weekend of July, Floresville's having a party. Uh, it's called the Freedom Fest. And from the 20, the 2020 to at least 2023, it'd, it'd be a bright, perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time from now. Uh, well, it'd be three years straight in a row, or be so the week be before crazy. I started second. <laughs> I think, I think so that, would, that, would that would alleviate our problems, bro. So it sounds like <laughs> the conversation, time and, and, and Mr. President, it sounds like the post. So July 7th is what we're looking at. Post. He's making a face over there. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I just something we'd have to decide on because I seem to me like but if we're early, if, it's a little more exciting than if we're late. I think so too. I, I, that's that's just my personal opinion, but you know, I, I asked Joe. So were you saying on the thirty first? Right. I think before. Before. I like I said, I, I think <laughs> we generate a little more. Uh, excitement. Yeah, the Saturday, the Saturday before is better than the Saturday. Yeah, I would think so. I'd say the Saturday, the I think everybody's going to be sick of fireworks. But I, I think so. I think so. They well, they give it a different name rather than Freedom true. Fest. Give it and we may not have a lot of people because they would be kind of tired. Like, who wants to go see fireworks? We already saw them. Yeah. 
Well, Freedom Fest, I mean, that, that, that hits 4th of July. It hits a, a nerve with 4th of July. It hits a nerve with, uh, you know, we're not saying it's the 4th of July party. We're saying it's Freedom Fest. Yeah. Freedom Fest. Yeah. And we'll and surprise them with fireworks. Yeah. Oh, and, and advertise fireworks. And they're going to get a jump well, start on. Fireworks. They're going to get a jump start we on. We've got to go to EDC and ask for some money in a minute. But, uh, <laughs> just remember that. Uh, remember that. Um, vote <laughs> vote just vote think of us. Just think of us. <laughs> you know, and then we, we're not going to ever be in competition. I mean, if we have to think about it, we wouldn't be in competition with San Antonio. We can have to go to San Antonio with yeah. their fireworks. Yeah. Yeah. We're not in competition with them. You know, like but if I have it that Saturday before, and I get to look at the kids, I'm not going to do the fireworks. And we can watch that at home. That's what I think. We can do it. We can do a lot to be more people out here. I like the free. I think if you're the first guy on the block doing it, you're going to have people. I want to go to fireworks. Let's go to Floresville. They're having it this week. Mm -hmm. And it's a weekend, and then, of course, your concession is all about drinking and not getting up going to work today. Exactly. And but then, she's saying in 2020, it's going to hit us. What well, I did add on the 4th of July was, because uh, last year we had a lot of people just show up for the fireworks, and didn't pay to come in. We had about 100 cars show up on that side and on the highway mm -hmm. was I think we should charge fees to come in and watch the fireworks and like the parking fee we talked small, about. Small. Small. Yeah, small something like that. Fee. Something small. I know. Yeah, five dollar parking, parking fee. Take you. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm putting you two in the parking lot. <laughs> well I, I still think if we just say the first week in July, you know, yeah, and sometimes that may be the that may be after the fourth. Mm -hmm. But it's always going to put us at the same time. And people are going to know what it is, and it's going to be around the Fourth of July. And if it, if it's here in Floresville, people are going to come watch it. Oh, absolutely. Before or after. Okay. So, so we're, left, we're talking about the thirtieth. Are they available on the first or the thirtieth? Uh, I heard the third, but I didn't. Yes, hear he told me. To yes, he days. says anything other than the third, the fourth, they're available. I just asked him the third, but he told me if you do anything besides the fourth, we can come out and do the technicians. We'll have fresh gunpowder in our the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth. Yeah. He said the fourth they could not do. They have too many events that technicians. Yeah, because of the, I can believe it. Because of the nature of this event and the fact that many contracts besides the fireworks are going to be signed, I would advise the board to pick a date ASAP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, and they've already you've already proved to. Give a deposit. Yes. I just need. I need deposit on what date because that's what the contract needs to be. Sure. I mean, sure. It's just uh, that way. Chaz, you, you guys have guidance. To, to yeah, because they uh, do a they're adjustments. wanting me to get a set date to make the deposit, send me the invoice, and have us on. I think ready the to dates, go. we need to do that tonight, and I, I, I would like. Someone to make a motion? But Bill, we still need to know if every DC is going to sponsor that, if they're going to give us money for that, correct? Well, I mean. Well, we went to every DC last year. Mm -hmm. uh, they were not surprised that we told them we'd be back this year. Okay. Probably. So, I would. Yes. Yes. We're going right. to pick a date for the, I mean, the, yeah. the, that question, second, you know, it, it follows the date situation. But so this, this year, year we're going to be the 30th. For sure, mm -hmm. we have the money. I want us to get a situation like we were with that uh, the event we tried to have a few years ago at Labor Day, where, where ultimately it didn't come to pass, but we'd already signed quite a few contracts. So yeah, in September. <coughs> so we need to we need to be okay. Go ahead, come yeah. up with a day. Someone, I'm open for a motion. Well, I'll make a motion to have it uh, the Freedom Fest this Saturday before Fourth of July. <coughs> Three. Okay. Saturday prior to the 4th of July. Can we make the motion? And would we do that yearly? With the uh, first Saturday? The whole 2020. Yeah. Something that we can have. Well, we won't, I, I won't be here by that time, so you <laughs> Bill, you've been saying that for 10 years. We <laughs> will <laughs> I learned many years ago, 25 years in the business, to make a dance on a holiday, on the weekend, the guy has shit, everybody go to the coast. The guy has four or five dollars an hour, a uh, gallon, you're going to have people. Yeah. I learned that the hard way. Okay. So, should we have a motion? 
That would be the Saturday before the 4th of July. Motion and a second, right? Yes, sir. Okay. All those, uh, any discussion? That would be 30th, June the 30th. The entertainment that you have there listed, uh, Chaz, you have to check it again or? Yes, I got to call back because I was presenting for the time. Uh, I was calling and getting prices, uh, getting people who's available for these dates. Uh, so if we do change it, I will have to call back and, you know, see what their availability is and everything else. You haven't signed any contracts? With no, them? not yet. Yeah, I'm so just trying to get a affirmative date where we can actually make a contract and get them. I'd like oh, okay. to do that. I'd like to see this contract. Okay. I mean, just give me copies of them so I'm tracking it. You need anybody to discuss it with them for you. Okay. Any other comments? If not, I'll Did call we vote for on it, Bill? Vote. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, we have a motion by Rara, uh, second by Tahada. And uh, all those in favor? All those opposed? Just at the hot hour, you have staying? No. You said, you said. Oh. Okay. I don't even really hear the price, the price there. So, it, you know, so you're a, a yes vote? You were for it or against it? All for it. Okay. okay. You got anything in mind? Okay. Here? Uh, we have a five of them. That's on that. Okay, so the Freedom Fest date is set then for the Saturday prior to the first or to the 4th okay. of July. So they put June 30th down, I'll go ahead and give them a call tomorrow. Okay. And make that. And if we need to have a, if there's any reason we need to have another vote for something, uh, let me know and I will get an agenda set up. I only got one question. That little Joe, $8,000 is a lot of money. I'm not going to buy it. What do you think is a more reasonable? We have Lil Joe here. What, what do you think is a more reasonable price? Maybe half for him, maybe half for that. So we need two bands? We're going to have two bands? Well, I mean, uh, it just depends on how long we want to have them. I mean, it's going to, we got to set a time that we're going to start it. I know last year we kind of started it kind of early. Uh, we had nine bands last year, and I think it was too much. It was 45 minutes per band. So they're often on the stage pretty quick. I would like to cut it maybe in half or maybe even smaller where they play at least an hour and a half where they, we can actually get our money's worth for those you, bands. Are you going to have uh, two, only two bands? No, no. We are still looking for more entertainment. Uh, okay. So those are just the ones that I contacted so far and got prices on. Uh, we still can move some budget around as well to, uh, to fit more entertainment in there. And they, they don't have to be... Big, it can be uh, local bands, it can be small cover bands that we can have out here to play different pe different music. <coughs> Are you having any country? Yes, I am looking in, uh, we have a Texas country uh, cover band, and they're out of Pleasanton, they would like to come out and play, and they're only $600. Okay, so you don't have them listed yet? No, not yet. Okay. I just listed the ones that actually confirmed, hey, we can play this day. Yeah. I really didn't want to put anybody down that weren't totally for sure Sorry. about coming. Entertainment's price may change now that they're not performing on the holiday. Yes, and it might change just because they're not going to perform on that closer date the 4th of July because their prices do change. Any plans for the sports field for the complex? Can be included in any of this? Uh, for Mayfest, I do. I want to do like a, a barbecue cook-off for Mayfest. You know, have like a competition for a brisket cook-off and give out prizes for people to come out here and, you know, show their talents because there's uh, a lot of, I mean, I just mentioned it. And I had like six guys that, that do those turning burns and stuff like that said, if you do it, we will come out here and, and participate in it. Is that because of something you wanted to bring the No, that's me. That's for me. That'll be for me. Uh, March 24th, we're supposed to be done. Cutting ribbon on it. Oh, concession stands will be open as well. Yes. And that's when I put in uh, a co-ed softball, stuff like that, so we can have the whole facility being used. For that that, that's something I wanted to address to the board about about your events. It's an add-on to it. Today I spoke with the TABC guy. Um, you're able anywhere on the property to sell them out uh, there with your license, so we can sell beer out of the concession stands. Uh, we will. There's a few things you got to take care of once these concession stands are open. We got to put some proper signage up. But say it again, Mr. Cole. I'm sorry. Uh, the um, it was a question that had been posed a while back, and, and I just happened to run smack and dab into it. But 
TABC uh, agent for this county and asked him, what, you know, what is the limits on a license, a beer and wine license for this facility? And he said, anything within this address, we can sell beer at the concession stands. Because that was a question y'all had asked a while back and I hadn't answered yet. But I got the answer today. Yeah, because uh, right, great. So and I, uh, I had the baseball field. Okay, church. I could sell beer at the church. Yeah, he said anywhere on the address, and this is all the same address. <laughs> that is too. So, that's good to know. The park is too. I mean, it doesn't really have addresses. We just use the same address. Because I know we used to do it like when we used to have our big Fourth of July things out there. Awesome. And I, I think yeah, that's and another reason why we need to think of this advertise this place as a as a complex. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, that means that if someone's having something down here in the old uh, state park, you know, we can have a license and operate down there. It, that and consider it all one property as far as marketing. You know, we have a tremendous uh, facility when you think of it that way. We don't have just a building in a few acres around it like Pleasanton or something. We have a complex and we need to think of it that way. And we can uh, market it that way. You know, we, we could have a, a carnival of a circus here mm -hmm. as, as far as that goes. And we should uh, for freedom to you know, there's nothing that prohibits would prohibit us from doing that. Mm -hmm. You're right. Well, you know, Mr. Gibson, if I could, if I could just piggyback on that great vision, because clearly I think you have laid out the vision of what we're trying to do. And I heard Chad say something about a carnival, and you mentioned the pre part of it. Wouldn't it be nice that we could actually have a carnival to come out, and we have the grounds out yeah. there? We have enough space out there to do that kind of stuff because they can jam up a little. Carnival on the street in front of the city hall for peanut butter. Mm -hmm. We can have some room <coughs> in here, and then imagine we have the Freedom Fest on the it Saturday, but the carnival could still be going on on Sunday. We don't have to have fireworks anymore. Right. We could but start this thing on, on Friday wow. and run through the whole week. You know what I'm saying? Friday yeah, night, and then the carnival's here, and then, oh, everybody's coming because they see the lights. I got a call this morning, kid you not, I got a call this morning mm -hmm. saying the fields are on fire. It wasn't no. our fields, <laughs> it was actually smoke coming from the county that was burning some stuff. But oh, no. you can you can see, you imagine people come up and down 97 and they see well, all the lights and all Also, too, like the sacred, and maybe they're you're coming down you sacred on trail, sacred well, church, you can see the field. The lights oh, are going to yeah. be on pretty oh, yeah. soon. Yeah. Yeah. And we have to have a vision of, nice. of that oh, global nice. thing. And that's the we money they right there. We have always thought small. Carnivals make money. You know, oh, yeah. Yeah. not everybody. Well, no. What? And, but we've got to think in terms of the, the, the dynamic of what we have. Carnivals. Bill, with this discussion that we're having, should, should we try to maybe put all of our efforts on one event rather than having one in March and May? I think we can do both. I really believe. For all three. I, I think we need to. We need to be able to show people that we can put on the big stuff. We need to show people that we're capable of doing that. Now, are we going to fall our face sometimes? <laughs> are you talking about like like the carnival, everything yeah. like that? Uh, for July. For July, yeah. I think we should put. That's a good idea. The biggest That's one okay. should be the Freedom Fest. So we put everything on there, like the. You know, if we're going to do that one, we should put everything on that one. Everything else in between will just be a build up for that, a build up for that to market this Freedom Fest where we have surrounding counties, other people come out here and actually enjoy this facility. That's the way I see it. Uh, I think four should be marketed as <coughs> a place. You better put on check your the calendar. There, there's nothing booked on that there. Saturday? For, uh, no, I believe I marked out the whole week before and after, but I can check. I can, oh, you know what? I have it right here. Yeah, make sure. Oh, well, here. You make your plans. <laughs> <laughs> we voted on it. We there's voted. a way to there's get married. I'm sorry, y'all can't get married. Well, with that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, or, so guess what? We're going to have fireworks for your wedding. <laughs> 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 well, no, you we do not have nothing booked. I have my calendar here as well. You have I feel there. like we're, you know, yeah, we're, we're learning. We learn now. From this that we can't just target the 4th of July. We probably can't target uh, some of these other things until we get big enough and when people 
think that Floresville is the place to come and have a huge event, then we will be able to because people say, hey, we want to be the fireworks person in Floresville. Mm -hmm. We want to be there, but we've got to work our way up to that point. And I think the way you do that is to step, you put your foot out there on the ice and try it. Yeah, and every once in a while you're going to step through it. But uh, that's part of learning about it. The Margie event, I mean, I saw a good opportunity to see.